our company name is related, Flex Tragedies, um, to this theory. Hello, my name is David Paulson. I'm the CEO of Flex Tragedies. Today we talk about one of the most important topics in our company, and that's the five flag theory, or to this tragedy. The flag tragedy or the flag theory is actually not new. Uh, it was founded um, many, many decades ago. The idea of the flag tragedy is always to diversify your business, to diversify your person, to globalize your business, to globalize your person. So if you talk about flags, we just start with the first flag, I would say. The first flag is my passport. So when I was born, on the day I was born, I received a passport. That's my citizenship. That's my first flag. And it was set in the country where I was born. I became a citizenship with rights and with also many things that I have to do. So the rights are very often much less than the things that I have to do. So let's talk about the rights. In some countries, I have the right to go to school. In some countries, I have the right to vote in a democratic state. I have the right to travel to certain countries without a visa or with a visa. Um, and yeah, it's pretty hard to think about even more rights, but uh, I know what I have to do. I have to pay taxes. I have to comply with the law. I have to build my business in a certain way. I have to do accounting, for example. And if I don't do these things, or if I don't want to do these things, uh, I get in troubles. Relatively easy, relatively fast. So in some countries, I have to pay more than 50% taxes of my profit, which is unbelievable. Um, if I compare it with uh, other systems, like the Italian mafia, for example, in Italy, I have to pay 16% to the mafia to be protected. Also protected from the government, actually. It's, like, it's really funny, but that's how it is. Um, in, in Germany, I have to pay, I pay over 50 or 55% taxes to be protected by the government. If I don't pay the taxes, I go to jail. So it's a really interesting comparison, but the structures are very, very similar. There's always uh, authority that is telling me if you want to be here, you have to do this. If you don't do it, you get in troubles. Other countries like the UAE, Dubai is the most famous part of the UAE. There is no taxes, there is no private income tax, and there is no corporate income tax. So, okay, let's say I have a German passport, uh, my first flag, I have some benefits, okay, I can travel in many countries, perfect. But I suffer taxes. So I will set my second flag. My second flag will be my business. So I go in a country where I'm treated much better than in my country. So for example, I set my I put my second flag into the UAE and set up a company in Dubai because I will not pay any taxes. So absolutely perfect. The third flag, and here we talk about diversifying, the third flag is um, where should I put my money that I make out of this business. Should I leave it in Dubai? Should I leave it in Germany, as an example? Or should I set up a third flag to an interesting financial hub like Singapore and we open our bank accounts there? Different continent, different system, different laws. So I have one flag in Germany with my passport. I have one flag in the UAE with my company and in the best case, a second residency. I have my third flag in Singapore with my bank account. Then it comes to investments, investments that I cannot just move away, like property, for example. Should I do my property investments in Germany? Should I do it in UAE or in Singapore? Or should I put a fourth flag in a country where I reach a high income on property investments? Or we have a big chance to invest because the prices are at the moment low and it's an establishing city, or it's a growing city. So let's just make an example. I say, okay, there's an interesting opportunity in Turkey, for example. Inflation is very high since a long time. The 
currency is cheap, the country is building up, the property market is booming, so why not investing now exactly in this situation, in this time, into property in Turkey? So put my fourth flag there and I invest in property in Turkey. So I'm globalized already. I'm on different continents. My business is outsourced and I'm going exactly where I'm treated best. So I have the highest benefits in the countries where they give me. That's smart, actually, right? So to even go further, I can put even more flex. I can say, okay, the, the world is unstable. Even in my country, the world is unstable. It maybe makes sense to apply for a second passport. Why a second passport? Maybe my country is next under sanctions. Maybe my country is next where I cannot travel anymore. Maybe there will be lockdowns again. Who knows what the world is going through in the next years. With a second passport, I can give myself and my family the chance to travel freely and to avoid any kind of control, or control systems. If you look at China, for example, uh, it's like absolutely insane how they use a virus for completely putting their people under a control system like we never saw in this world. George Orwell, he talked about it in a very interesting book. Uh, I will put a link below. So the flag theory is really to create safety and stability. And the flag theory, as I said, is not something that is made by us or that is young. It's actually used since decades by the elite, by families who are very wealthy and by families who want to keep this wealth over generations. So if we see really wealthy families, organizations and companies, they're using this flex strategy since a long, long time. And that's how they transfer wealth from one generation to the next. In our modern world, we have actually more flex, not only five. We have six, seven, eight, maybe ten. So we can even say, let's put a social flag in which part of the world I want to create friendships. Let's put a digital flag. Maybe I should also look into the world of digital assets, NFTs, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, to diversify even more and to invest into the future. So the five flag theory is more important and more interesting than any time in the last 80 years. And we consult our clients internationally. You can use the link below and apply for this 30 minutes free consultation. And I hope I see you soon in Dubai or in a video call, Zoom call, telephone call. All the best.